In Rostov region of the Russian Federation, a pipeline used to pump petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the area of the Azov seaport was blown up. The Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported on the night of April 6, 2024. In the area of the village of Azov as a result of the explosion of a pipeline that pumped petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the area of the Azov seaport, the loading of tankers with petroleum products was suspended for an indefinite period, the report says, the object was used by the aggressor state for military purposes, to support the waging of a genocidal war against Ukraine, the department noted. Loading of tankers with petroleum products is suspended for an indefinite period Ukraine has been attacking Russian oil refineries for months. Defense Intelligence Chairman Vasily Malyuk noted that due to Ukrainian drones hitting Russian refineries, oil production and refining in the Russian Federation was reduced by 12 percent. The Institute for the Study of War noted that the recent attack by Ukrainian drones on an oil refinery in the Republic of Tatarstan indicates a turning point in Ukraine's strategy of striking targets deep behind Russian lines. British intelligence is convinced that Russia is unlikely to be able to protect all its oil refineries from attacks by Ukrainian drones. These impacts cause financial losses for Russia and affect the domestic fuel market. Ukrainian drones attacked the Morozovsk military airfield in Russia's Rostov Oblast on the night of 4-5 April. Vasily Galyubev, the governor of Rostov Oblast said this. Witnesses reported numerous drones and counted more than 60 explosions. Several districts have been cut off from the power grid after it, according to Telegram channels Russian six aircraft destroyed, eight damaged after Ukrainian drone attack. The attack on the Morozovsk airfield was carried out by the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence together with the military and defense forces frontline bombers Su-24, Su-24M, Su-34 were based at the airfield, these are the types of aircraft Russia uses to drop KABs on the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in frontline Ukrainian cities. Dolyubev confirmed a large-scale attack in the Morozovsk district. He said that the Russian air defense units were repelling the attack. Morozovsk is a military airfield in Russia's Rostov Oblast, located 3 kilometers southwest of the city of Morozovsk. The airfield is a base of the 559th Guards Bomber Regiment of the 1st Guards Mixed Aviation Division of the Russian Air Force. Frontline bombers Su-24, Su-24M or Su-34 are stationed at the airfield. In December, drones attempted to attack the military airfield in Morozovsk, where frontline aircraft were stationed. Putin's backbone. Belarus provides large military assistance to Russia in the war against Ukraine. The Belarusian military industrial complex is assisting in meeting the needs of the Russian army on the front lines. How and why Lukashenko's regime became one of the key allies in the war for the Kremlin is explained in the material by RBC Ukraine. Since the beginning of the large-scale aggression, Belarus has become a key ally of Russia in conducting military operations against Ukraine within the first seven months of the full-scale war. According to the Belarusian Hadun project, Alexander Lukashenko transferred over 65,000 tons of ammunition, hundreds of T-72A tanks, BMPs and Ural trucks to Russia. Only when Belarusian depots were depleted due to Putin's appetites, other countries, primarily Iran and North Korea, have become the main suppliers of ready-made weapons for Russia. Russia utilizes the full range of services from the Belarusian military industrial complex, but the key assistance lies in the restoration of military equipment damaged as a result of combat actions. Back in 2022, at the beginning of full-scale aggression, 60% of Belarusian military goods were destined for the Russian market. Today, this figure has increased even more. 
Currently, 120 Belarusian plants and design bureaus are involved in the production of 1,600 types of military products and services for the Russian Federation. In contrast, 940 Russian enterprises supply about 4,000 items to 67 Belarusian military enterprises. There is no other sphere where cooperation between these countries is as close as in the military sector. Moreover, analysis of open sources suggests that the production of the Belarusian military industrial complex is increasing. The Belarusian defense industry has also switched to military rails today. Hundreds of thousands of workers are employed in the plants who simply cannot be unaware of where the products they manufacture are going. However, military enterprises are perhaps the only sphere where one can earn a more or less decent salary in Belarus.